What's happening with you? It's your guy King David from TrapMonsterTrapMonster.net. And here today I'm going to be showing you how to mix in mono. I have a few VSTs that I like to play with when I mix in mono, get my mixes balanced and just right. So let me go through and show you how I mix in mono. Alright, which is two plugins right here. Um, first, I'm gonna cover the um, the Insight by Isotope, and then it's the Manipulator by BDL, um, and it's a free VST as well. I'm gonna show you. Uh, actually, I have a link for this in the uh, description or whatnot. But what this does is kind of puts your track um, in mono, so you can hear everything in mono, and it's a good way to mix. Actually, mixing in mono because when you're mixing the stereo, you might not hear everything. Um, if there's certain sounds, the clap, the snares, um, the kick may be too loud. This kind of, if you mix in mono, kind of balance your, actually it, balance, it helps balance your mix. So if um, your person has ever gone for placements um, for TV and film, this can kind of um, knock you out the box if you don't have a well mixed um, and a well balanced um, mixed track. Um, so I, highly advise you if you're going for TV and film placement you're just submitting tracks a lot of companies they like to know that you're um, having a, a balanced mix in your track so um, definitely mix in mono so you can hear certain things if it's too loud if it's a synth sound or whatever it is it's just a little too loud it's gonna stick out you won't hear it in mono off top so to make sure your uh, mix is nice and balanced everything's where it needs to be at grab you a manipulator. It's free. And like I said, the link will be in the description. So let me show you what uh, manipulator do and um, and how I use it with Insight with the Isotope plugin. Um, I'm gonna give you the stereo version of it before I put it in mono. So um, definitely um, put your headphones in so you can hear exactly what it's doing. foremost um, my target area right here is at negative 12 db that's how loud i want the track to be overall is a negative 12 db when i'm mixing um, sometimes i go to six but a lot of times i mix it at um at a headroom of 12 negative 12 and um i always kind of see that right here in reference um if it goes over i know i may need to turn my limiter down which i do have a limiter on it turn it down a little bit um so it ain't limiting too hard and um come up off that um, but and then also right here I'm checking for dynamics so right here my loudness my um, my loudness range right here the LU right here um, I'm normally trying to go for 10 8 um, if not a little bit more dynamic maybe 12 or something like that but I try to stay away from um, 5 and down um, of dynamics, you know what I'm saying? I like to have a lot of dynamic in my in my beats. So I always check for the dynamics. I'm just kind of going over a little bit of everything that I'm looking for um, in terms of um, my mix. So I'm checking for dynamics. A lot of times I'm making sure I got enough headroom that I'm not going past the negative 12 dB of a uh, headroom that I'm setting, setting up for. Making sure the track is actually in phase so make sure you see this line right here. I'm gonna play it again. You see this line go up here. That lets me know that my track is in phase. If I, it was coming down here a lot, then that means I have a sound or something that wasn't, um, that's not doing right and this is out of phase. And I would have to go in and fix that. Um, I'll do a tutorial about phase and things like that in another time, another tutorial, should I say. Um, the overall, the overall loudness right here with this plugin is going to show me is in, within the timeline um, where it may be peaking at within the whole track. This is just an eight bar loop right here I just did for the uh, tutorial right here. And then I'm checking the stereo field right here to make sure that everything ain't drifting too far hard left or right or anything like that, um, but kind of more so um, balanced out. And it's okay every once in a while you may see something 
poke out here or there or whatever. But long if the meat of it is always kind of right up in this area right here, within this diamond shape right here, you're good. So, um, like I said, you'll check to see right here that it's in phase. <laughs> So you'll know how um, this plug-in right here, Panipulator, um, you see how the stereo field was right now. It's kind of wide. The band on it was kind of wide. The spectrum of it was kind of wide, so that's that. Um, and what I want to do is turn it on, and um, it's already set the left and right, negative 6 dB. Cool. All right, so i want to hear it again and watch how the spectrum right here the stereo spectrum of it is straight up and down to let you know that your track is in mono cool all right so now that i know that it's in mono i can hear everything like if it's a snare a clap a hi-hat that's a little too loud I know I can go in and uh, turn it down or do whatever I need to do from there to make sure that it's not sticking out too loud in my mix. Because if somebody's listening to it in mono, that's the main sound they're gonna hear a lot in the song. You know what I'm saying? Is that particular instrument or frequency that is sticking out like that. And that lets you know right there that you can go in, fix the problem, and make sure what you want to be the most dominant part of the beat is the main thing that you're going to hear in mono you know what i'm saying so um just a real quick tutorial man just about mixing and stuff like that you know what i'm saying and i would do a lot more in depth uh, mixing tutorials like this and one more thing make sure that you um before you export the track out make sure you click it out of mono you don't want to export it with mono on on this plugin you can actually just once you get the mix and everything right where you wanted that, take it off the track, deactivate it, um, whatever you need to do, but just take it out of mono and um, you can probably take it off the track if you want to or deactivate it if you're a machine just by clicking this button right here and um, export out. And um, that'd be pretty much it, but just make sure you do not keep it in mono um, when you export out because it, it would fuck up your track. I'm gonna just be real with you, you know what I'm saying? So. You guys been wanting to get a lot more mixing tutorials, so I'm going to start throwing things out like this. That's pretty much it, man. But I'm going to leave the link to this plugin right here. It's definitely free. You can go grab that thing, install it. They have it for Mac and Windows. So um, you guys enjoy. Till next time, you got King David. I am the plug. Peace.